Okay, what I'm about to do is uh, have someone's help to make a um, typing tool, and this is called Instamorph Moldable Plastic that you can buy online. It's very cheap, and it's um, tiny plastic pellets. And what we're going to do is put it into uh, some boiling water, which is going to make it soft, and then we can mold it into, um, well, whatever you want to trying to make something that would look like this just a, a little different I've tried it twice but uh, I'm gonna do it one more time and uh, hopefully this time it will be okay but uh, I use this for a typing tool in order to keep my finger straight and it is very cheap and expensive kinda looks cool and well you can paint it you can keep it white and it's very durable and um, so we're going to try to make another one. First you need to roll it out to the size you want, which is fairly simple. Any countertop is good. It's good. Now we're going to put it back into the hot water to get it soft and uh, sticky again. You can know when it's done, when the, when it all becomes clear, and in a few moments it'll be warm and soft and we'll start to wrap it around the finger. I'm going to hold my finger straight so that it dries properly and I'm going to start from the, on the finger close to the hand, I'm going to wrap it around. you got to move kind of, uh, kind of quick so that it uh, doesn't dry too fast and it also can stick to itself very easily so you have to be careful that that doesn't happen otherwise it, you have to start all over again which we've had to do a few times but that's how you learn try not to stretch it too much after this one you can start to come back go above it a little bit and then come back again I'll come back Stay close to the, th the last one. Yep. Good. Again. This time, come close again. Now break it off. Break it off. And stick it on the bottom. Yep, go around. Just touch the other side and let go. Good. So I think we've got a good one here. And this is the hardest part actually, which is just waiting for it to cool. It's important that you don't move until it's at least starts to turn semi-white. Um, and you can speed it up a little bit by putting it in cooler water. But if I let go to do that, uh, it's going to bend a little bit. So. For now I'm just going to wait a little bit and uh, after it's finished I'll show you how it works. Okay so I just made uh, well three different size typing tools. I started with this one and it became a little bit messy. Uh, the pieces were a little bit large so it wasn't exactly what I wanted but uh, it could work but it's not the one I like. Uh, the last one I made, it looks nice, but uh, for my taste, it was a little bit thin. As you can see, it's still a little soft, so it's bending, which is what you want to watch for. Now, this may be good for some if you have extremely um, bent fingers, and um, you don't want to have too much pressure on your knuckle because it might hurt, then to have a little flexibility won't hurt at all. Uh, in fact, this will work just fine. It's just not to my preference. Um, as you can see for anything on a touch screen, it works just great. Um, whereas you can see my other fingers are too close to my palm so I can't push with them. But this one allows it to stay straight. 
and uh, works really well. But it's not the one I would use because it, I think eventually in time it might break because it is so soft. But I will try them both to see. But um, I think that this one, the second one, which is a little bit uh, more strong, you can see how I put it on. And it, it doesn't flex so much, but just a little bit. So it does seem to work really well. And that's probably the one I'm going to use and stick with. What I've been using up until now is, well, it's just a simple um, handlebar grip, you know, something you would put on handlebars of a bicycle. And I just cut off the end of it and allowed my finger to go through. So this does work very well for typing and, and touching the touchscreen. And I've made this um, to use mostly with either the iPod, iPhone, or the iPad. Um, it also was very cheap, um, but after a little bit of time, it gets very sticky inside and moist, and it's a little difficult to get off of off your finger. So this is how I do it, but it doesn't come off so easy after it's moist. But this tool, um, it's actually very slippery, sort of slippery. And uh, the way I put it on is I just get my finger in there, put it up against my body, and I just, you know, slide it in. And because of the wrapping of the plastic, it actually fits exactly to your finger, whereas the tip of the other one kind of didn't really come close to the fingertip. It left a little space. And it actually looks a little cooler. So, you know, like I said before, you could paint it or you could just leave it white, but it's a little more natural looking. It's going to last forever. Uh, I mean, not forever, but it's going to last quite a long time. And uh, it's going to come off very easily, as you can see. So there you go. That's uh, Instamorph. And uh, it's very cheap. You can make lots of stuff like this. And uh, it's going to be the new tool that I use from now on for typing. And uh, it will work with also, of course, typing on a keyboard. So there you go. Make something.